In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use an API in Lovable in just five minutes. This guide will walk you through the process so you can successfully integrate an API into your project with confidence. Let's get started by opening your existing Lovable project or creating a brand new one. Whether you're continuing work on a current app or starting fresh, the process remains the same. Once you're in the project, locate the prompt or chat box. This is where you'll convey what you want the application to do using the API. For instance, you might want to type something like, create a weather app that uses the Open Weather Map API to show the current temperature. This level of specificity helps Lovable understand exactly what you're aiming to achieve. When dealing with APIs, it's crucial to note that some may require an API key for access. If you find yourself in this situation, remember not to paste the API key directly into Lovable. Safety with your keys is paramount and Lovable has got you covered. Instead of directly inputting it, you'll want to connect Lovable to Supabase. To do this, navigate to Supabase, click on Connect to Supabase, and then follow the prompts to authorize Lovable. This integration serves as a secure means for handling your API keys. With that done, proceed to store your API key securely in Supabase's Edge function secrets. Lovable not only supports this integration, but encourages it to ensure that your data remains safe and sound. Now, with the setup complete, the real magic happens. Lovable will automatically generate the necessary backend logic, which includes edge functions and the front-end user interface for your API call. This feature simplifies the complex coding process, allowing you to focus on the creative aspects of your project. Once everything is configured, it's time to test your application within the Lovable editor. Testing is a critical step to ensure everything functions as intended. If you encounter any issues or need to tweak your API calls further, don't hesitate to adjust the function or request headers manually until the app performs perfectly. Before we conclude, here are some best practices to keep in mind. Always avoid pasting API keys directly into lovable prompts. Instead, leverage Supabase Edge functions for secure API handling and secret management. Additionally, implement Supabase's row-level security to safeguard sensitive data effectively. By following these steps and maintaining these best practices, you'll not only have a functional app, but one that's secure and robust. Thank you for joining me in this quick tutorial, and I hope you now feel equipped to integrate APIs efficiently within Lovable. If you found this helpful, be sure to check out our other guides for more tips and tricks.